While you're on the hunt for the rarest of all Pokemon, the government may be watching you. Maybe hunting you. Maybe hunting you. Okay, so let's get into this for a, for a second. So we've already talked about Pokemon Go in a lot of different ways on all of our shows here. It's it's a sensation. Sweeping the, the nation. It's a sensation sweeping the nation. It's basically the Star Wars uh, like mania of our millennial generation, and it's skyrocketed Nintendo's valuation to nine uh, by nine billion dollars in two days. Holy yeah, shit. it's insane, that. like insane. So everyone's on it. And, and there are definitely a lot of good things that came out of Pokemon Go because it it, it created this sense of community where people, like I was outside yesterday. Look and people at you. were walking down. Yeah, and I never do that. I never am outside normally, uh, unless it's at a pool party or something like that. But anyway. Um, and, and and people were like talking to me. They were just like, hey man, have you found like one of those rare ones over here? Like it's it's kind of cool that we're just walking around and conversing with one another, especially in, in this day and age where we normally don't do that. And I think it will genuinely combat childhood obesity. Like I really do believe well, that. Like the dance dance, dan uh, the dance 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 revolution. dance revolution. It's yeah. weird that like phone, such an anti-social device, phones have actually Is made people, people. Yeah. be social. But so there is a downside to it. Okay. As there is always. Now, um, you may know this. There's two ways to join the game. Mm -hmm. And one is through your Gmail account. And then the other one is through a trainer's club. Or I think that's what it's called. And, and unfortunately, what we now know is that due to a bug uh, okay. created by Niantic, they had access to a lot more information than we previously thought was even imaginable. Okay, so Niantic recently sent out a press release to TechCrunch and a bunch of other publications that stated, we recently discovered that the Pokemon Go account creation process on iOS erroneously requests full access permission for the user's Google account. However, Pokemon Go only accesses basic Google profile information, specifically your user ID and email address, and no other Google account information is or has been accessed or collected. Once we became aware of this error, we began working on a client side fix to request permission for only basic Google profile information in line with the data that we actually access. So um, they immediately clarified that this was an error. Now it's a little questionable because Niantic is partially owned by Google and the person who, uh, the CEO of Niantic actually is um, has deep ties with the government. So there's this sort of conspiracy theory put forward by Gawker and a bunch of other outlets that said conspiracy. that, no, 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 that say that this is a like a surveillance psyops conspiracy that Pokemon Go is essentially like the next level of big data that the government is collecting and surveilling every step that you take because it, because it's an augmented reality game, they have full access to your camera. They can, if they have God mode enabled, which a lot of apps do, and God mode is when they can basically go into your phone and know exactly where you are at any given time or like access your camera, stuff like that. Uber has this. Um, a lot of apps nowadays have that. Um, they can just follow your every move. And they don't need to do it through piecing, you know, surveillance footage together from different parts, like there's cameras everywhere now, or like Google Maps, and they can literally do it through your phone. So um, let me talk a little bit more about Niantic's uh, ties with okay. the government. So the, um, so the CEO of Niantic, uh, his name is uh, John Hank, and he is, uh, he used to, he created uh, this concept called Keyhole. This was a company that was found, uh, that was founded by, um, a couple very smart people in Silicon Valley invested by the CIA's. What are you looking at? I'm just really paranoid right now. Okay, so this. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. So get ready for it. Okay, so, so tell me about Keyhole it. is an, is is what we now know as Google Maps. He sold it to Google, and what's more interesting is that the CIA was an early investor in it because the CIA has an investing uh, branch called Inqtel. It's Intel with a Q in it, like Q as in. Um, like Q? No, Q as in like Q from James Bond, because it's, they invest in um, espionage technologies or like things that will progress espionage in one way or the other. So, and he's a big like, so Hank is also a, a big, big data buff. And he also is obviously an advocate for government surveillance. And so it is a little, it is, it is very interesting because Niantic is partially owned by Google. And that's why it was kind of crazy when they could just like request all access to all of your information. And we have people like Amir 
who immediately deleted his Pokemon game, ruining all the experience that he's put, I mean, ruining all the time that he's logged in so far. Um, I didn't do it because I was like, the government's surveilling me anyway. What do you think? Oh, man, this is a little overwhelming. Um, okay, so any conspiracy theory, I immediately want to buy into it, everything. <laughs> like, I just, it's just who I am, it's in my nature. So I think that the connection between Niantic and Google is very yeah. compelling. Um, I have not yet downloaded the game because yesterday we talked about the dangers of people walking into traffic and going into ditches on Pop Trigger, and now today I'm hearing about the government surveillance. Yeah. And I was really excited to download this game but now I feel like it will absolutely be the end of me. Or, or I mean, I don't, I don't think that I do anything crazy and nefarious. But I do think that I, but I, I think that they I will have, find all of your haikus that you wrote to Liz. Like no. they will find all of them. They have access to your Google Docs as well. I just feel like I, I Google weird stuff. You oh know, no! I, not your Google. Google already knows exactly what you're searching. But I, but I, but I have Everyone's. weird things on my phone. I just, I go weird places sometimes by myself. I'm not. I'm a. I'm a strange person, and oh, I, I know that. But I'm not mean, and I don't want to do anything bad. But I just feel like I would be definitely, I would be lured, and I would be. I don't know. I just, it just feels like there is something fishy going on here, and you outlined it very in a way that I have. I have yet to feel so paranoid. Okay, so um, let me let me okay let me let me dial this back for a second. Okay. Like, I think that unfortunately in this day and age, yeah, um, is your phone off? It is unreasonable to have an expectation of privacy, right? Um, especially in the case of government surveillance. Like, we are constantly being watched twenty four seven, and there's. I mean, it's just, that's just what it is. What are they watching? And I'm not even saying like it's an Orwellian state at this point where they're like, I don't want to hear any sort of sentiment against communism or anything like that. It's just the way it is, is that we're constantly being watched and they're doing it in an effort to, you know, stop crimes and find people that are kidnapped and these, all these other things like to create this sense of security. The, secu the, 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 the two competing needs of security versus privacy are a very real thing. It's something that we debate all the time on the Young Turks. And, and the only part about this, the only thing that was a major fuck up in, on, on behalf of Niantic is the fact that they had access to your private correspondences. Like that is an incredible intrusion to your privacy. Like and they're going to- unnecessary to find Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, not necessary. Sure. Not necessary. But, so aside from that, obviously, I mean, it's not that grand scheme, like crazy conspiracy, like the way Gawker's Black Ops is outlining. Like I would like to hear, I, I like to believe in stuff like that as well, but it's not. I mean, it's just, it just isn't. I don't know how, how else to explain it. Like they have access to following you around regardless. If you, if you give away your rights, if you say that you're, you're essentially giving the antic the right to track every step you take throughout the day, You've just given the, you've just given that away. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. you're, so, I mean they're fixing this error. I'm more concerned with them changing the combat system <laughs> from the bullshit button mashing into a turn-based strategy. That would be nice. That would be nice. It would be nice if I could battle other trainers. These are the things I want from Niantic. Okay. I've already, I'm saying like living in America, I've already given away my right to privacy. Okay. Any, like there's no reasonable expectation of privacy for me at this as point. As soon as we're done this segment, I'm just gonna start burning everything I own. <laughs> like miss the robot, just, just off throw the your phones in the, in the microwave. Yeah, honestly, so. Okay, but we wanna hear what you guys think. Do you think the government is spying on us via Pokemon Go or is this a ridiculous conspiracy theory? If the government was spying on us, would you still play Pokemon Go? Because it is very addicting. Um, addicting. So leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Asan Piker, this is Grace Baldridge, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.